Hi folks, Ontario PGA TV. I'm Scott Pritchard here with David Main, the CEO of Beacon Hall Golf Club and Executive Professional. Uh, we're here doing our first member profile and David's our lucky candidate for the first uh, installment. And uh, for those who don't know, maybe tell us a little bit about your background, how you got started in the golf industry. Well, I grew up in Ridgetown and uh, started at Ridgetown Golf Club, uh, working in the back shop as a junior mm -hmm. and then worked uh, for Rob Mason in the, uh, the pro shop for a little bit. Uh, I off to university to uh, take engineering and wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do at that point in time and needed a summer job. Mm -hmm. So Rob convinced me that uh, why not uh, why not become a golf professional mm -hmm. and uh, it all started there. So what uh, what well first of all you went to Queen's University and uh, and then uh, for engineering in in, mm -hmm. in the beginning and then what courses did you work at during the summertime uh, while you were off? Well, I was with Rob, and uh, Rob got a great opportunity to manage Pine Knot Golf Club right from its inception in the London area. Mm -hmm. And at that point in time, he kind of approached me and said, would you like to come along? And, and I was finishing my university. I only had a summer or a semester or two more to go. And mm -hmm. I said, yeah, you know what, why not? Uh, let's give that a try. So I went off to Pine Knot with Rob and then finished my university degree and uh, kind of had to make that life decision of what to continue to do. And at that point in time, I'd... I just started working uh, for Mr. John Davis for a uh, season at uh, Ingersoll Golf mm -hmm. Club and uh, finished that and, and was offered the position of head professional for the city of Brantford uh, working at Northridge and Airedale Golf Courses. So so how long you ran those golf facilities for how long? I was in charge of the golf operations, uh, reported to the city manager, and we, I was there for 10 years. Okay. And then you, you actually left the golf industry for a br brief period. And me, what was the reasoning for that? It was another one of those uh, kind of life uh, moments, those crossroads. Mm -hmm. um, um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to continue as a head golf professional and what I wanted to do. I did know I wanted to go back to school, and that's where I started my, uh, my MBA. And I thought that at the time that I'd actually have to get out of the golf industry or get into something more mainstream corporate Canada if I was going right. to go back to getting, getting this kind of schooling and this level of schooling. So I spent a little bit of time. It was uh, only a summer away right. from the golf industry, and it was probably the best thing I ever did because I really realized that I need to stay in the uh, in the golf industry. Right. Golf is really part of my passion and my heart, and uh, it was probably the best move I made. And at that point in time, I, I refocused and uh, tried to find jobs in the uh, in the golf industry. So your first general manager position was at Ingersoll, and was there any? Uh, did it help the fact that you had worked there that one year, or was it more that job came available? Or I'm sure it had a, had something to do with it. You know what? It did have something mm -hmm. to do with it. I think uh, I wouldn't want to put myself in the position of the people who hired me, but uh, <laughs> I, you know, I, I did have some experience with Ingersoll Golf Club. Um, also, it was a first general manager's role, and for those club professionals who want to make that leap into being a uh, club manager, you're, you're not going to make that leap directly into a larger club. Right. So it was one of those things where I knew I had to kind of pay my dues and, and, and see what I you know needed to learn right. um, and had a fabulous experience at Ingersoll. It's, it's one of the best golf courses in the southwest Ontario region. And, you know, truthfully, it, it, it unfortunately only lasted a year. And, uh, and whichever way you want to look at that, I, I guess the opportunity at Brampton Golf Club came up. And uh, I applied more on a just a not necessarily a whim, but I was very interested to see what my resume would hold right. and see whether it would be any interest at clubs. And uh, not only was there interest, but I was interviewed and then went through the interview process and they were offering me the job. So wow. it was it was a pretty wild moment. I hadn't finished my uh, schooling yet at that point in time. So... They, they took me on relatively green, to tell you mm -hmm. the truth, in the, in the management role. And uh, uh, again, uh, Ingersoll and Brampton, I, I can't speak enough of both of those clubs and what they've done for my career. Well, you've moved quite quickly through the general manager ranks, uh, probably quicker than you would have imagined yourself. What do you attribute that mostly to? You know, I, I don't know what I can attribute it to other than, you know, just continuing to try and learn and improve myself. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think like a lot of guys, I, I've been I've been lucky to uh, know some good people. Um, but I've, I've worked hard over the last probably five, six years in refocusing my career. Mm -hmm. um, I, it definitely went a lot faster than I would have ever imagined. Mm -hmm. And in some ways, uh, probably wanted. You know, right. it's, a, it's a lot of change in a short period of time. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm happy for it and, uh, couldn't, and couldn't be happier. So with Brampton, one of the things that was, there was an article recently written about, about Brampton before your departure about uh, sort of refocusing is sort of a theme of this interview, yeah. but uh, refocusing the brand at, at Berlin or at Brampton, sorry, and really finding out, you know, who are we and what are we about and uh, how did that all come to be? Well, the, the club had already had a strategic plan that they'd brought together at mm -hmm. uh, Brampton and the, part of that strategic plan was was hiring a, uh, a general manager that they hadn't really had in many years there. Uh, so they refocused their governance um, at the club. Um, that's where I fit in. 
um, working with that strategic plan was more of, a, of an evolution of Brampton Golf Club, not mm -hmm. really a revolution. Um, they had a lot of great things going on for them, but uh, they definitely knew they needed to make some changes as they moved through the years. So right. that's where I fit in. And has that helped you? Did that help you? How did the Beacon Hall job come to be? And has that experience at Brampton obviously helping you in the current scenario? Well, yeah, you know, people ask, you know, is there, there must be a lot of differences between Beacon Hall and, uh, and Brampton, and, and there definitely are. But in, in its basis level, we're, we're still at a private golf club. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it is definitely all my experiences so far, um, schooling being a large part of that and improving my education and my knowledge has been the biggest part of it. But the experience at the private clubs before Beacon Hall definitely, uh, definitely are helping now. Mm -hmm. um, it's... It was it was a neat experience with uh, with the Beacon Hall process. Again, uh, you don't go looking for these process uh, these uh, positions. It's one of these things that I think through hard work uh, they just kind of uh, appear for you and uh, you take the opportunity when you get the chance. And and again with Brampton, I was there three years. Um, I would have really enjoyed more years there. Yeah. But when the opportunity for Beacon Hall comes up, you, you just don't turn that one down. For sure. And what would you say is you know uh, your unique selling proposition? Something that you take pride in? Some sort of the value that you can bring to the club is it I know that you're big on brand and Ted Matthews that following is there mm -hmm. and uh, is there something that you know you feel is your expertise I don't know if I know my expertise totally but I, I would say that uh, one thing I've carried through the many years well the short few years I guess <laughs> as a as a GM is is sticking to the club's values and their vision mm -hmm. um, and and that's easily said um, and and tough to execute so I think I've uh, have some knowledge in that area and mm -hmm. I've been able to impart that not only with Brampton but uh, now with Beacon Hall. Well great well Dave thanks very much for uh, for doing this today and we wish you continued success you're definitely someone that uh, you know a lot of members can look to for you know the tr the road that you've traveled and definitely been very successful at this point and we wish you continued success. Well, thank you very much Scott. Thank you.